Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you the skincare that made the cut for my uh, recent trip, which I'm on the last day of right now. I'm leaving Hong Kong tonight um, because I went carry on only and the liquids was hard. The liquids was really, really tough. Um, I think I could carry on for most places because uh, clothing and stuff, I, they don't have a hard time with overpacking, but wow, the liquids. So I thought it might be interesting to share the things that I really felt like I wanted to bring. Before we do that, I literally just woke up. Well, I kept waking up in the night. I have not slept well at all. It's a propolis kind of morning. Um, oh, my camera's pinging out there. I didn't turn it off. I am exhausted. It has been a whirlwind couple of days. Um, I'll be honestly, I'll be happy to be home because I'm so, so tired, but it's been amazing. I did already post um, one of the vlogs while I was here, since, you know, I'm just not sleeping. Um, but there will be another one, so if you're interested, I'll link those for you below. Right, where to begin? Cleanser. This might feel like overkill because I also brought my red light therapy mask. So maybe this is overkill. Um, but I brought my Foreo facial brush because I really do feel like my skin is better when I use it. It is um, red light. If you have the, the gel and stuff with you, you can also use this as a microcurrent device. I never use this as a microcurrent device. I just use it for facial cleansing and it has the secondary red light benefits. Um, and I also have this ultra facial cleanser, a little mini from Kiehl's. But honestly, I don't feel really strongly about any cleanser. This was just a small one that I found knocking around that was like handy to have. Um, and I have used this every single day, especially using the amount of SPF. I felt like I've been wearing more of that here because it's so hot. Um, I definitely felt like I needed to make an effort with the cleansing situation that I, that I brought because SPF is a little bit different than just taking off makeup. Um, so what I've been doing is a face wipe to take off my makeup and then this has been my second cleanse. I'm not a massive fan of face wipes, but it's just been easier while I've been away. Also, because it was a 14 hour flight, although I think it ended up being closer to 13 um, on the way here, I did all of the skincare on the plane um, before I kind of settled down for the night and tried to get some sleep. And this is the only thing I didn't do because obviously this felt like a little bit excessive when everyone's waiting for the bathroom. So I just did like a two minute quick face wipes, smack on some moisturizer and some oils and things that I'm gonna show you in the rest of this video, but this would have been nice. And honestly, depending on how busy the flight is, I might do this tonight. I actually discovered that my husband has been using that recently uh, because it was on charge outside the bathroom. And I was like, I don't think I put it on charge. Um, and when I asked him about it, he says he uses it every day. So that's a win from him too. When it comes to an oil, I, I'm always like, I don't know where to put this in my skincare routine. I know the theory is you go lightest to heaviest. So the last thing you apply should be heaviest. To me, that's the oil. But it just doesn't make sense to me to put the oil on last. So I always put the oil on. And this might mean that everything else that I do after this is not being absorbed. I'll make my peace with that. This is just how I feel good about applying everything. Um, so I'm gonna put on this, what is this called? Q&A squalene facial oil which I mentioned in the previous video, it was so hard to find a facial oil. I don't know what's going on. Why have facial oils become not a thing? I really don't know, but they have. Um, it feels so nice, especially after just using that cleansing brush. My skin is so soft, but it's just like, oh, bliss. It feels so nice to like massage it into your skin, especially when you're feeling so tired. Oh, it feels so good. So if I was at home, I would leave this a little while and I probably will here. I might be back in a minute. But obviously while I was on the plane, I was just like, throw it all on. Um, but if I was oh, at home, I, I kind of take my time over this. I do my skincare while I'm watching the television at night and I let the steps kind of have their time to absorb. But you know, sometimes that just doesn't work out. I'm gonna pack. My liquids bag as we go. Um, I also need to throw in some makeup and stuff in here. This was, this was the most annoying thing. I wish we could have two smaller bags. Just because in terms, I love pouches for packing and I really like to have everything separated so that I know where everything is. I just don't enjoy having to put all liquids 
in this book because they don't necessarily make sense in my mind. They, they're not categorized correctly because this going next to a foundation, I'm like I don't want them in the same pack. It really bugs me. So when I get on the other side of security, I take them out and then I separate them into this is makeup and this is skincare. It's just completely irrational, but that's how I feel. Eye drops also went in my liquid. The ones I'm using at the moment are the soothing eye drops for itchy eyes from Optrex. And these are the best ones I've tried. Do you know what's weird? My eyes have not been as bad since I've been here. I used them the day that I arrived and I'm using them now just because I've reminded myself of them. I didn't feel like I was like, oh, I need my eye drops. Whereas at home, it's multiple times a day. So I wonder if something to do with the climate has changed the dryness of my eyes because I was convinced it was just perimenopause, but maybe it's maybe it's not. Um, but when my, my eyes have just been like sandpaper dry, and those particular eye drops have been amazing. Just the very, very best, and I feel like I've tried so many. Um, although I am going to try the, I think they're called Hiker Sand, something like that, because uh, so many of you recommended them when I asked. I don't know if toothpaste is classed as a liquid. It's probably not because I know balms and things aren't, but I'm putting that in there because I have this in with my skincare anyway. Um, next is my whatever this is called, moisturizer. However, when I was on the plane, what I liked to do was layer the steps with this. This is the Elizabeth Arden Miracle Hydrating Mist, the eight hour miracle hydrating mist. If you like the eight hour cream, or even if you don't like the eight hour cream, but you don't like the smell of the eight hour cream, that's not what this smells like. It doesn't smell of anything really. It's a very, very light. It's like a clean, fresh scent, if anything. Oh. It's just the most hydrating product in the world, I feel certain. Um, so when I did do this on the plane, I spritzed between and then did like spritz, I probably did spritz oil, spritz moisturizer and then spritz at the end. Um, for being on a long haul flight, of all of the things, like if I had to just bring one thing, it would probably be face wipes in this and just spritz regularly because it's incredible. So the moisturizer that I did decant into this is the Boots, I think it was called an Aqua, overnight mask um when i tried to find the link last week or whenever it was that i talked about this um it wasn't available online it seemed like it was a pre-order thing but i did buy it in store and it was very affordable it was like a blue like a blue top um and it's kind of got when i said i couldn't quite put my finger on the texture but it kind of reminded me of something else and it was like a matte cream gel someone said exactly what it was and it is the Sorbets, um, I think it could, I mean, there's been multiple ones over the years, but they said Soap and Glory, yes. But I think the Body Shop maybe did them as well. As you like rub it in, it becomes more like a regular moisturizer, but totally that like Sorbet texture. You know those ones where you kind of got it on your hand and it was almost rough to touch. Do you know what I mean? Like a texture, it was like a, like a matte cream, really weird. Um, but I think that's like the thickness of it. It feels really nice. It feels kind of almost velvety on your skin. Um, and so for me, this felt like that, as they say, the blanket that you, you cover everything else up in. This is like the final duvet on the rest of my skincare. Um, so that's it. That's everything that I put on like facial skincare wise. Then I've got my lip balm, which is the Nukes sweet lemon which again it doesn't actually this is not technically a liquid if you are really struggling anything that is a balm is not a liquid i have got like a solid deodorant with me and i've got a solid um anti-chafing stick which whew, that has come in handy i can't open this i've got very oily hands um that's come in seriously handy but wherever possible if you are struggling with liquids just get balms get solid products get like even foundation sticks you can do a lot of products without it being liquid if you set your mind to it but i didn't have to like really you can choose too much i think the one excessive thing that i did bring was two different kinds of foundations but that's because i decanted them into these so i brought one that was a little heavier coverage the nars tinted moisturizer which yesterday we went to disney and i forgot to put my spf on my face i couldn't believe it i, I every other day i've been great and I only realized I'd forgot to put it on my face because I also didn't put it on my shoulders. And I now have, let's see if I can, oh, that's my sleep patch. I do have a little bit of sunburn on my shoulders. And when I saw that, I was like, oh, 
but my face is pretty good and that's because the NARS already has, I think, SPF 30, which I'm not, you know, go with your SPF 50, do it, but it seemed to do pretty well because I was out in the sun all day and I, not red. Um, this is the one I've been using for the rest of the time. It is the Bright Reveal from L'Oreal, the Dark Spot UV Fluid. This was sent to me, but I will definitely buy this again because it's a really liquidy one. It's really nice for underneath makeup. Um, it doesn't feel like you're adding a huge extra layer. It's just really thin. It doesn't really smell like sun cream. Again, I got kind of a, like a fresh, clean scent, but it is scented. If you have a problem with scent, that's definitely more scented than the Elizabeth Um Yeah, really, really nice. So once all of this is kind of settled in, I will be putting a little bit of this on my face and I don't think anything else for today. I think we're gonna go and have a wander around near my friend's house. Um, to kind of chill a little bit, we may go to the pool, in which case again, SPF, all the more important. Uh, and then I'm going home. I'm, I've had such an amazing time. Um, when, before I came, I was worried that it wasn't gonna be enough time because I was literally only here for three nights, but we did so much in those three nights and it was so full on. And between that and the time difference and the flight and everything, I don't feel like I, like if I'd had a week, I don't feel like I would have made the most of it because I'm so, so tired. Um, so we would have had a lot more chill time and it would have just, like we really, really maxed the time that we had, it felt like. Um, I feel really, really good about the trip and I'm excited for our last day. So thanks so much for watching. Hopefully this has been interesting for those of you who wondered, what did she, I, I talked about the fact that I did my carry on and maybe some of you were interested in what I took in terms of skincare. Um, if you wanna know, I'll do a separate one of these on makeup and just show you what I took in terms of makeup, it was it was more than I needed to bring. Maybe what I'll do is like, this is actually the makeup that I wore every day for the real minimal situation. But let me know. Thanks so much for watching. I will link what I can for you below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.